Hey Questers, and welcome to another episode of BMF, the unofficial home for all things Oculus Quest. Oculus Connect 6 is well underway, and yesterday we got some amazing announcements from Oculus about new features coming to the Quest. There are also some games that have been announced as well, but for now I'm going to focus on the new features. But come back tomorrow for a brand new ultimate list of upcoming Oculus Quest games OC6 edition. The first thing that was announced yesterday is something I am super excited about. Hand tracking will be making its way to the Quest in early 2020. This will allow us to be able to interact with VR content without a controller, glove, or PC. Hand tracking uses the external camera sensors to track your hands. The potential of this experience is nearly limitless, with the ability to interact with objects and VR content by physically moving your hands and grabbing is going to add another whole level of merge into the quest. There are a few downfalls, obviously, so we are more likely to get just experiences than full-fledged games. For instance, that would leave us without an analog stick for motion, and it also removes haptic feedback. But there is definitely a lot of potential with this upgrade, and it would be awesome to hop into a game like Vacation Simulator and be able to play this game without a controller. The next feature that was announced is amazing, and it's called Oculus Link. Essentially, this takes your quest and gives you the ability to use it like a PC VR headset by running one USB-C cable to your gaming PC. You'll be able to access content on the Rift Store and play it directly on your Quest, with the PC recognizing your Quest as a Rift S. This opens up a huge amount of content to Quest users that have access to a gaming PC and want the ability to play PC VR games. Unlike streaming PC VR to the Quest, you'll have to be connected via a cable to the PC, but it still is an amazing option for those interested. Some people have expressed concern that because the Quest will be able to function like essentially a Rift S, the developers will slow down on the Quest content. Honestly, I don't think that will be the case. There is still a massive market of people who don't have a PC that'll play PC VR games, which is exactly why the Quest is so successful so far. For those of us with a PC that can run Rift games, it'll be an awesome option when needed, but honestly, I'm still excited for the future of the Quest itself as a tetherless standalone headset. Oculus Link is coming this November. It was also announced that a selection of Go games will be available to play on the Quest starting next week. You can find a list of the titles in the description. But the cool thing is that if you own a Go app that is also on the Quest, you have until the end of the year to get the Quest version of the game free of charge. There are a lot of people out there who own games for the Go, so that should be good news to some of you. They are starting off with a total of 50 Go games, with more to be added in the future. Also coming to the Quest next week is the addition of Pass-Through Plus, which is the pass-through mode that shipped with the Rift S. This pass-through mode is superior in that it'll give you a stereo-correct view of the outside world, making it easier to set up your Guardian or look through the room. Plus, later this year, on-demand pass-through will be released, which will allow the user to switch from content to the pass-through cameras at the tap of a button. Also announced was finally the launch of the ability to turn off tracking altogether, so you now will be able to watch your video content in the dark room without the need for IR lighting. This is a feature a lot of people have been waiting for, so it's great to see them finally bring it to the Quest. Another couple of quick things were mentioned today during the second keynote by John Carmack. He said that they are working on bringing pretty much every 3D movie ever created to the Quest, as well as the ability to be able to download movies onto the Quest's hard drive for offline consumption. That's a super short overview of what has been announced so far at OC6. What are your thoughts on the new features coming to the Quest? Also, don't forget to come back tomorrow for the ultimate list of upcoming Oculus Quest games, OC6 edition. If you want to get the most out of your Quest and the best bang for your buck, then subscribe to BMF for more Quest-related content and hit that bell icon. Plus, if you're looking for more Quest content, you can check out my other videos here. Thanks so much for watching, and happy questing.